Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today, as you can see, we're doing a kit review on this. This is a German FUR MG 39D Wurzburg radar unit, and this particular model is put out by Dustwork, and they call it a FMG 39 stroke Fuz 69D Wurzburg. It is in 135th scale, and the kit number is DW35014. Now this kit has been brought out in cooperation with Amusing Hobby. Amusing Hobby brought out the Radar Unit Plus, as you can see in the background, 128 centimeter flat gun. Okay, so I've done a review on that particular kit. This one came out uh, in 2020, so it's very new and when i saw this one it was only around about 35 plus dollars australian it was uh cheap i think they run at around about 50 dollars australian thereabouts and i thought you know what i do german radar is one of my passions so to speak and i thought to myself do i really need it you know what i just went yes i do so as you can see by the box art, okay, this is your standard crew configuration. So you have four crew manning the actual unit, one section leader, and usually one or two other crew members operating the 8 kilowatt generator, which powered the radar unit. And just at the feet of the section leader, you'll see two cables. One of those is the power unit from the generator. The other one transfers all the targeting information to the flat guns that you see in the background. Okay, so really nice box art. Really gives you an impression exactly how this unit was uh, established in the field. Over 4,000 of these Wurzburg radars from uh, the A to the D were used throughout Europe, Eastern Front, Balkans, you name it, wherever there was a need for flat guns, these were used. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the box. On the side, you'll see Dustworks address in Germany and examples of the four suggested color schemes, overall yellow, red, brown, and green splotches or uh, squiggles okay so that's the suggested color schemes on the other side it shows you what it has bolt details diversion yes you can fold the dish okay you can fold the dish into a transport mode the only issue with this is it doesn't have the transport wheels that go with the cruciform base okay so you can have it sitting like this and you'll see examples in museums looking like this but there's no transfer wheels okay no transport wheels and this is what the unit looks like when it's established with its platform and its outriders to support the edge of the platform okay so that's the box okay let's have a look and see what's inside Instructions in a Dustworks aged, okay, aged look. So it's, it does look splotchy brown. This is deliberate by Dustwork, okay. So don't be upset about that. This is the way it's supposed to look. It's got one bag of screws, which is the cruciform base for the radar. The next bag is the platform and it is quite sizable so it will take up a fair bit of space on the shelf the dish and the frame and the last one is all your bits and pieces which has got your seats in it your dials controls etc etc okay and that's it just three sprues no decals nothing nothing and not even any crew unfortunately
Okay, let's have a look at the instructions. So, what we have here is a copy of the box art. This bit here in German basically says read before assembly. Okay, that's all it says in German. You have English. What I'm assuming is Japanese, Chinese maybe? Don't know. Okay, assembly guidelines. Okay, so that's the front page. Next we've got the sprue layout. Three basic sprues like I showed you. All right, nothing exciting in this one. And then straight into it. And as you can see, Dustwork has aged these instructions. They've even put a coffee stain up in the corner. Okay, I didn't do that. This is the way the instructions actually look in real life. So we've got the cruciform base going together. Fairly simple, straightforward. You have the platform and the outriggers. Okay, they support the edges of the platform. Then you've got your cruciform going onto the platform. And then you get to the technical stuff, which is the equipment. All right, so this is all your dials, gauges, etc. For the actual radar unit. All right, these fit onto the sides. You've got seats, okay, for the operator. So fairly straightforward. Nothing fussy about this. There is no photo etch in this. It's all pure plastic. More equipment and framework going on. So these all go together to create the um, controls for the radar. And this particular model, you can tilt the radar or it can rotate. Okay. This is where the operator sticks his feet. All right. So he has pedals inside. So at least one of those pedals would be a simple Morse code system which would tell the generator operator more power, less power. Very similar kind of uh, assembly as a searchlight operator had. So literally they pushed their foot down for more power, pulled it back for less, it told the generator operator, reduce it, increase, etc. Okay. So we just carry on assembling the seat and the gauges. You'll notice this is where the operator actually looks in and sees the um, oscilloscope. Very simple operation for these. Basically had an oscilloscope, two dots, which the operator kept in place. And he, from that, you could read height, distance, etc. for the target. And this all gets mounted onto the base. All right. And literally you have the whole assembly mounted onto the platform. Fairly simple. Read the instructions. All right. um, I would paint probably the whole thing in sections rather than wait till you've assembled it because it is quite complex in parts and you will need to have certain parts painted before you put it together. Then you just get to the dish. And the dish comes in two halves, so it fits on the framework, okay? After that, you've got the dipole antenna, and it just fits together like that. And she's almost done. Outriggers go on. You've got the additional antennas going on the outside, because this is a D model. And that's it. So even though it says it can fold it, it doesn't actually show you how you can fold it okay because it immediately goes straight into painting this is just blotchy overall dark green on a sand base squiggly lines and that is in red brown you can also make the squiggly lines just in dark green all right so any camouflage pattern you really want actually on these things because they were over 4,000 like I said so you know, color scheme would change depending on what area and overall dark yellow. And that's it, guys. All right, so even though this does say you can put this into transport mode, it doesn't actually show you having it in transport mode. And since it doesn't have the transport wheels, okay, 
I would just basically build it the way it is. All right, in a second, we'll have a look at the sprues. Okay, so let's have a look at the sprues. So the first one we're going to have a look at is this one. This is your cruciform base for the radar unit. As you can see, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. These are the positions for the um, operator's legs. You have some instruments on here as well. So let's have a closer look. Standard cruciform used by the Germans for flat guns like the 88, radar units, um, you name it, they used it. It worked, it was efficient and easily built. Okay, so let's have a look at the detail. So this is one of the control gauge indicator boxes. So there are no decals with this kit, unfortunately. So um, the details on those dials, etc. You're going to have to try and do some internet research. And trust me, it is not easy because there's a lot of photos out there, but a lot of them are not labeled as to actually what the thing is in the photo. So yeah, could be a reason why. They never put in a decal set for these because they don't know what they actually look like. Probably your standard black dial with white uh, numbers, etc. Some really nice bolt detail. Really nice bolt detail on the cruciform. Okay. It's all really nice sharp detail. Not much flash. A few molding pips and things, but apart from that, even the detail on the I'm not sure even sure what you call them, leg hoods I suppose is really nice let's have a look over here there is some more controls dials etc see nothing there's not even any clear parts to go in these which is a shame because at least you could put a clear part in there so yes internet references are definitely uh, needed on this particular kit because it leaves very little understanding what all these bits and pieces are, what color they were, etc. So that is basically the cruciform base, okay? And there are only three screws in this kit. And the next one is, this is your base where the crew stand, your radar dish, of course. This is the frames for the radar dish and more controls. And again, so there's no painting instructions. On the dials in the instru in in the assembly, I guess because they really didn't know. I think there may be one, possibly two examples of uh, these radar Würzburg radar units left in the world. Very few, and I did read a long time ago that someone was trying to get one in working condition but who knows okay so really nice bolt detail have a look at the detail on that dish let's have a look at the other side of the dish again some really nice detail very fine rivet and bolt detail really nice really like that so the instructions do say that you can put this into travel mode by folding that up um, I don't see the point because there are no transport wheels and the instructions actually don't tell you how to do it. Okay, you may have to refer to the amusing hobby instructions. It does say in the box that you can do it, but it doesn't tell you how or what it's supposed to look like. So 
yeah it's a bit of a shortcoming there okay so that is your crew stand and the radar dish And the last sprue, which unfortunately is the last sprue, because there is a big obvious sprue missing, is a very busy one with all the bits and pieces. You've got your turning handles, okay, all these little gauges and handles and fittings for the actual radar unit. This is your sending unit here, okay, and your additional radar dipoles etc seats wheels you even have headphones for the crew okay and all your other bits and pieces for that uh, the uh, elevation um okay and movement controls and things like that so that's really nice. There's some really nice detail. Let's have a look, see. Okay, so let's have a look. There's some towing hooks and things for the cruise form. There is your headphones for the crew. Dipole antennas. Okay. Turning handles. So it all has really nice bolt detail on it. And it's really sharp. Okay. But not much detailing in the instructions as to what it's supposed to look like or what color it was or anything like that okay and that's it that is what you get One, two, three, and the most obvious sprue that's missing is the crew. Unfortunately, one of my little bug bears. You have beautiful bottle kits like this, but no crew figures. You have flat guns, anti-tank guns, produced by all our model suppliers. And no crew, all right. Mini art master box, they provide uh, all sorts of figures ICM, trumpeter, all sorts of figures. Some have crew members with their guns, usually, their Tamiya is the one that produces the crew members for guns, etc. I'd love to see something like this with crew, all right. There must be an opportunity for someone to produce crew, anyway, guys. Enough of my rambling. That is Thus Works Wurzburg Radar with crew on the box and no crew in the, in the box. Okay, really nice little model kit. Would love to see more German radar because there are a variety of types out there. Would love to see more coming out. As usual, hope you got something from this review and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thanks for your comments and as usual until i see you next time take it easy stay well stay safe see ya